want to tell you a story that I've never told in public. I think back to a time when I first took the stage and the band Stay Human, we were venturing outside of the jazz world. We were trying to figure out ways to reach people who didn't typically go to concert halls or jazz venues and think about jazz as something that they enjoyed. It wasn't in the social context for them. So we started to play in rock and roll venues, punk venues. We played in all of these different hip hop clubs and open for different rap artists. And along that journey, we got booed once. One of the three times that the band has gotten booed in our entire existence. Now I know that sounds like, oh, well three times getting booed, you gotta fail somewhere. But for us, we were used to playing into rooms where people would be elated to just see us before we even played a note. Because it's like, wow, you have young people who are interested in jazz? Great. So we stepped on stage. As soon as we played the first note, I remember the audience was like, go home, boo. And I was like, wait a minute. Maybe we should change what we're doing. And then five minutes into trying to change it on the fly, no rehearsal, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna stick to the script. I started playing what we always play, through the booze. They started playing, the band got into it, they stuck to it, the crowd was booing, we got louder. They got louder, we got louder. <laughs> Back and forth. Until finally, my good friend Joe, who I met at, uh, the age of 16, and we've still been playing together ever since. He's a drummer and tambourine player. He takes his tambourine, he's playing a solo, and the intensity must have gotten to him because he knocks the mic stand over with the tambourine. Bah! The mic hits the floor, there's feedback. The first time in 20 minutes throughout the set, there's silence. Everybody's looking at each other. And then, slowly, they all start to clap. And in that moment, in some, small dive bar several years ago in Philadelphia, opening for whoever was the hot flavor of that month. I realized something very, very profound. Don't change who you are to fit the circumstances around you. At a certain point, you're gonna be in a place where nobody around you is like you or has your values. But when you reach that point, that's where you embolden them. That's when your values become stronger and that's when your character really comes to the test. And when you come out on the other side of that, you've really made progress in defining who you are and who you want to be. The part about who you can help along the way, I truly believe that's something that comes from God. Finding time to meditate and pray apart from the, the, the world and all the things that can pull and tug at your time is very important. Because once you do the work, you have to have the purpose behind the work. The purpose behind the work has to come from a divine place. Money and accolades are great, but I tell you what, that's not what it's about. You can have all the money in the world and be completely unhappy. In some of the countries we've toured in, they have nothing. And those are some of the smilingest people you ever see. <laughs> Take a piece of paper, write down at the top this is who I am. And then just start listing things. Doesn't matter how disparate or varied they are. Just start listing things. And then figure out ways to combine the things that you have listed. My list would read something like red beans and rice, basketball, piano. Duke Ellington. <laughs> but when you make those connections, that's your integrity. When you make those connections, that's who you are in its rawest sense. And you're not worried about the money and the accolades that will come. But force yourself to be creative. Embrace the uncomfortable. Embrace the uncomfortable and make sense out of it. And the second exercise I would urge you to do is write down at the top of another sheet of paper. These are my prayers. And think about who, what, and how you want to serve other people with that first list. This will guide you and it will always change. 
It will always evolve. It will grow over the years. But ultimately, that's what it's all about.